Hey YouTube, this is Oasis Rising, and this is day day five of my Skycutter Chariot build. Um, so for my last update, I was talking about the wood. Now you can see the kind of finished results of that, how that looks. I think I may have been a little overzealous with the um the ink in the oops in the middle part here especially oh come on focus like right right there you can see where the ink is pooled um but overall i think he gives it a really cool effect um so that's what that looks like um i have to be really careful now because i i can see him being sloppy you can see there's gold um, on the wood panels on the, on the back there. I'd be really careful with uh, my work now because I don't want to mess that up. Um, so you can see I've been working on the gold a lot. And um, yeah, it's been really tricky because I have two lights that I work with. I have this this light here. And then this light here, which is a spotlight, kind of. And um, working with metallics, especially golds, it's really difficult to tell um, where the highlights need to be, where the specular highlights should be, um, because I'm constantly getting uh, specular lighting off of it because it's so shiny. So no matter where I turn it, the, the uh, highlight highlights that I can see from the light are, are in all different places. And especially with this lamp, basically uh, because of the angle it's at, it's coming towards me and then bouncing off the piece and then up into my eyes. So if I'm holding it flat, the top surfaces look really, really shiny. Um, so I need to figure out a way to diffuse the light. I was trying to just turn the light away but then it was getting too dark. Um, now it's still daytime, so you can see all the light from the windows. And you can also see where I've tried to repl replicate the um, lighting from a particular angle, but it's gotten kind of funky, I think. But um, so far I think it's doing pretty well, yeah. I think large metallic flat surfaces are very, very difficult for me. Um, I've been taking advantage of all the, the small bits. You know, when you have like armor or decorations, you can you know let the shape of the um, the model itself take care of where the highlights and shadows should be for you, and then you can just use a wash and it goes in the recesses, and it's pretty pretty simple. But this is a lot more difficult. Um, you can see I've tried to do some color modulation on the front here, where it goes from light to dark to light to dark, light, dark, light, then back to dark again. Um, so I'm not sure if that really is convincing, but, uh, but let me know what you think. I I'm debating whether I should get some of the liquid gold, the Vallejo liquid gold, um, and kind of go over it again with that and start over with the golds because um, I don't think I'm thinning, thinning my GW paints enough and it's starting to get kind of clumpy or uh, not so smooth anymore. But, oh well, I'm kind of going on. So. Uh, that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.